Well, hello boys and girls. Good to see all of you. Welcome back. And I know it's been about three weeks since I have posted anything and I apologize, but we're back in business. We're gonna have some more recorder fun and we're gonna learn another song. My next three posts are gonna be about the animals. So the first one today is gonna to be about the tiger and then I will do the whales and then the next song will be polar bears. So today is all about the exciting tiger and I am going to dedicate this song to my wonderful daughter, Sydney. Sydney, do you see this? Because my daughter is fierce like a lion. I mean a tiger, well actually both. So Sydney, this is from mama to you, okay? So here we go, the tiger song. Now for some of you, who you know? I taught last year, we were working on the tiger and it is so much fun. So let's do some reviewing guys. All right, the tiger has just four notes, the B, A, G, and the C, that's it. So let's review our fingerings. All right, B, pinchy B, and I'll talk about this recorder in just a sec, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Here's a B, thumb in the back, first finger down, there's your B. What is your A? Just put your next finger down. There's your A and G, all three. Let's do those three. B and your A and your G and your A and the B, G, all three. Just practice those fingers. Remember, left hand above the right hand. Now the C, that's an easy one to get to. Finger and A at first, thumb in the back in the first two holes. There's your A. Now just lift up your first finger. That gives you the C, thumb in the back and palm and finger, your second finger is covering that hole. All right, so there's your C, and to go C to A, C to A, it's just that first finger moving, C to A, C to A. And from a B to get to a C, I call it the teeter-totter move. So here's your B, C, B, C. You're just teeter-tottering those two fingers back and forth from the B to the C and the B to the C. Just do that and just relax your fingers. So again, the tiger, only has B, A, G, and then the C, getting the correct fingers, the second hole covered and the thumb and the back. So just practice those back and forth. All right, as you know, of course, I am wearing my bunny slippers. I do every time because they're so comfortable because I'm still at home. Let's talk about this recorder a little bit. This belonged to my stepfather, Preston Sedman, and uh, this was in his drawer, this old Renaissance recorder. This one is made out of wood, and it's a little bit of a different style where this is the regular recorder that you guys have, and it's the Baroque style where you've got your holes, and then the last two down here, there's two little holes right next to each other. Two little holes right next to each other. Oops, it's just twisted around. Okay down there, but the Re Renaissance recorder is a little bit different, where the two bottom holes is just a single hole and not two of them right next to each other. The Renaissance recorder, the style was, this is the style that was played during the Renaissance time, which was around like 1200, 1300 years, 1400, and around 1500, so a long time ago, you know, five, 600, 700 years ago, this is the style of recorder that was played. So I'm having fun playing this too. It's, it's really awesome. Okay, now what else? Oh, this is kitty cat. Do you see my pretty kitty? She's a sweetheart. Sweetest cat in the whole wide world. She's just so nice. So she's gonna watch us today. All right, so let's do a little review, tiger. What should I do? Oh, okay, here we go. We have whole notes, which are worth four beats, the big fat ones. We have our half notes. Half note is a white note with a, with a dot, and that is worth three beats. You count to three while you're playing it. And your half note, white note with a stick, that's your two beat note, and your quarter note, that equals one beat. Now I'm gonna show you before we do that rhythm, let me show you real quick what the tiger music looks like. And again, some of you have seen this already, but let's, let me just talk about it first and then we'll do a rhythm. So it starts out with uh, four over four. There's the time signature, 
which means that four beats fit into the measure. The bottom number is a four, so therefore four beats fit into every measure, four boxes. Now, here is our whole rest, and it sits below uh, the line, and that means you've got four shushes going on. So you're quiet for four beats, and we're gonna practice that a little bit. Over here, you have a choice of a B or a G. And I'm gonna talk about ties. Let me see if I can get this so you can all see it just right. Okay, when you have notes that are tied together like that, see that symbol, you just add the value of the notes together. So a four beat note plus a four beat note equals an eight beat note. So you play it for eight beats. Got it? All right, here is our dotted half note, so you just Play that for three beats. Now, when you have two dots at the end of a measure like this, it's a repeat symbol, and you just go back to the nearest repeat sign. So you're going to repeat back to the beginning, and you're going to play this again. Da 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 da. And here we have a bunch of dotted notes, and I have that on my board. You're going to see it in a sec. When you have a dot either above or below a note, it just means to play it short. Just a short note. That's all it means. Here is called a first ending and a second ending. So what you do is you just, you're gonna, you're gonna play, you repeat, blah, 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 and I'm pointing all the way for you. At the end of a first ending, there's always a repeat sign, always, always, always. So you play to that repeat sign, then you go backwards to the nearest repeat sign, which happens to be there at measure 13, those two little dots. Then you play this for a second time. This line is played again. Then what do you do after you finish that B? you go straight to the second ending because the first ending is only played once. So again, after you play that B, you're gonna go straight to the second ending and play this. Here's another tie. Half note plus a half note equals a four beat note. So you're gonna play that for four beats. At measure 23, there's a tie. You play that for eight beats. And it's pretty self-explanatory. I've got um, your quarter rest over here. That's one shush plus a half rest. It, where that little box sits above the line, it's worth two shushes. And there's another half rest, two shushes. And you're just playing these notes. And we're counting the shushes. And when we play the song, I'll be, you know, um, pointing all the way through so you're not gonna get lost. Now, when I have a an arrow like this right here, it just means that the rest of the notes after it are exactly the same. So those are all Bs on the bottom line. Okay, so I'm going to put this back over here and let's talk about these a little bit before we start playing the song. So, again, here are the rests, the one that sit, looks like an upside down hat. You're going shh, 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 shh. You're, you're just shushing for four beats. You're not playing, you're quiet. And uh, here's your half rest symbol. It looks like a hat. And those are worth two shushes. And the lightning bolt symbol there. That is your quarter rest, and it's just worth one shush. And again, there's the symbol of the ties. Here's the staccato note. That means the dot above or below. It's called staccato. It means play it short. All right, so we're going to have fun with this rhythm here. So let's take a look at this one. Starts with a whole note, whole note, four shushes, short note, Shush, shush, and I'll demonstrate it for you. And we're all going to play it together a couple of times. And you're just following it along. Again, you always start on the left, just like reading. You play it, count it. Eyes move to the next, play it, count it. And you're following the directions. You're shushing for four shushes, and then play it, count it. Your eyes keep focused on where you're at. When you finish the, at the end of the line, your eyes then go to the next line and play it count it and just keep going until you get to the end. Now I'm going to demonstrate this for you and it's going to sound like this again four beats four beats. If this is the speed of the beat let's say I'll, I'll do the tiger is about like that I think. So if this is the speed of the beat a whole note would be like this. You're playing it for four beats long. All right so I'm going to demonstrate this and I'm just going to do it on a beat. So here's how the rhythm would sound. If the speed of the beat, one, two, and begin. See what I did? You just 
follow it along. All right, guys, let's play this on a C fingering, just so that you get used to the C fingering. Thumb and second finger, tall man finger on the second hole. There's your C. And again, you're tonguing all the notes. You're going t -t -t with your tongue. We don't go, <sighs> you don't huff it because it, it'll sound awful. All right, here we go. If this is the speed of the beat, let's do it. One, two, ready, begin. I did this rhythm is because this is really similar to what we're going to have in the tiger when we play it. Okay, guys, just have fun. You know, at any time during these lessons, remember, you can just freeze, stop the, the computer, and you can just practice whatever you see in front of you. Take your time. All right, now I'm going to put the music up in front of you. And let's see how we are doing. Fantastic. We're going to go ahead and play it. So I'm going to make sure you can all see this pretty well. Okay, very good. Are we ready to play it? Okay, so this one has music in the background. I love this stuff because it's just like band music. All right, so let me get in on it and we will play it and have a fantastic time with it. And again, this is a little fast, but I'm going to point the entire way. All right, oops. All right, here we go. This one fun. I love this song. So again, just play it over and over again. You can do this lesson many times and for sure, I hope we can do the recorders next year. You know, we'll be able to perform it. We'll figure out a way. So there's the tiger. Our next song that I'm going to post will be about the whales and that's going to be a beautiful relaxing song. So boys and girls, happy summer. And I hope you are enjoying your time at home with your family, not getting too annoyed with your brothers and sisters and all that stuff. And you know what? Life is good. I miss you all. And I will see you all next time. Bye.